and in this video we are going to start assembling our trammel toy uh, so i'm in my trammel folder i have already put, placed all my pieces in this folder and now we're going to start assembling them uh, you could start by clicking into any of the single pieces but i'm just going to create a separate document for it so i'm going to go to documents and i'm just going to name it my trammel assembly Hit okay and then we start working on it uh, if you haven't done so already, one thing I would recommend is making sure you go back and name each one of the parts for your piece. Uh, so if you haven't done so already, uh, to do that, we, all you have to do is, let's say we're on the bottom left. I'd go in there, and it may say part one down here already. You just right click, and rename, and name it bottom left. Uh, so you want to make sure you named each one of your pieces if you have not done so yet. Uh, so that's the first step you want to do. That's going to help avoid some confusion later on, hopefully, for you. Uh, then we're going to go to our assembly. So we're not going to make a separate part. We're going to make an assembly here. Uh, then we can insert those parts from the other documents. Uh, so right now in this current document, we haven't made any parts, so there's nothing there. But we can insert from our other documents. So I'm just going to get my own shape. I'm going to my trammel I fold it, and then I can start inserting my parts. I'm going to start with the base. Uh, that's where I'm going to put things. Uh, you may have different versions. If it doesn't have a version to begin with, uh, you will have to tell it to add a version. Right now, I just have my updated version, so I'm just going to place that in. Uh, once I place it, I can hit my green check to accept, or I can go back and start adding some more pieces. So right now, I'm going to put my base down, and then I'll put my uh, four corner pieces out here as well. So I'll do... Uh, so I'll do part one first. Uh, you can see this is my bottom right, and I've updated it since I've last uh, used it in an assembly. So I want to hit this create a version in bottom right, and then that creates our version. We can just name it V2, easy to keep track of. Uh, so that gives me that part, and I can put it in. So I'm going to zoom out just so it's not in my way and set it on the side. Uh, then I'm going to go back and do the same thing for my other part. So I did bottom right. So now I'm going to do top right. Again, it's got the update, so I want to make sure to update it, hit create, and then I can set it in place. Sometimes if it's your first time doing it, it doesn't even give you the previews and you have to make your versions. Uh, so that gives us our next piece. Uh, now we want bottom left. Again, I want to update it, so I do my update. And I placed that updated bottom left in. So the update on these is I just went back and I named those pieces. That's the only update it's got on them. Uh, then I go back and I'll get my last piece on my top left. And I'll again update it and put, place that one in. So we update it. There's our top left. And we want to place that one in. Hit our green check to accept placing all those pieces down uh, and then we can start to look at how to place them into the proper location uh, lots of different ways you can go about doing it so let's say I'm doing this uh, bottom uh, left here so on that bottom left I'm going to do a, a fasten mate because I don't want it to move uh, there's lots of different places I could click I could click in different corners I'm going to click on the middle of this uh, rectangle uh, the square here and then I'm going to go and I'm going to get the middle of the square that it's going to go into. And you can see it came in upside down. So all I have to do is click this arrow to flip it around. Uh, if you need to rotate it, we can use this arrow to rotate it. In this particular instance, it looks like it's placed correctly. So I'm going to use my green check to accept. So that first piece has been placed. Uh, next, I'm going to go up here on my top left. I'll do this one a little bit differently, still the same overall concept, uh, but we'll do it a little differently just so we can see some different styles, different ways to do it. Another way we can do it is we can look at these different holes to use. So I know this hole is going to be go match up to that hole in there. Uh, we always want to start with the piece we want to move first. So I'm going to start up here on the top, and I want to move it down to this fixed uh, hole. So I want to got to make sure I get into the hole on the surface of that hole. I don't want to go down into it. So right now you can see it's underneath. So if I flip my axis, it comes on top. And then I can rotate it until it's in the proper format. Hit our green check to accept. And now we have that piece placed. Uh, then next, I'll just kind of work my way around. So I'll come over here on the right hand side. Uh, so this one, uh, we want to set into this hole. I could use this rectangle here on the top. I could use a side as well. 
Uh, if I use the rectangle, I can go again right in the center, and then I can come over. You may want to change your view, so I'm just going to rotate my view a little bit, and that way we can make sure to get right in the middle. And we place it again, it's upside down, so we got to flip it, and then we got to rotate, rotate, and you can see it fits in. Hit our green check to accept. Uh, then we have our final piece over here. Again, same basic concept. I can see this is going to be the inside corner hole, so I'm going to select that hole and the hole it matches up to. Again, i got to flip it and then rotate and fit it into place. So that gives me my four pieces and the location I need them. Uh, next, I'm going to look at putting in the screws uh, to locate them. So to keep them in place, uh, I'm going to hit my X on fasten, and I need to insert some screws. We have one, two, three, four screws we need to add. So I'm going to add four screws and four nuts. So to do that, I just go to my trammel folder. I find the screw I need. I've already updated it, so I don't have to update my version. And I can just place uh, four of them on my page. Uh, where you place them, it doesn't matter uh, because we will move them when we need them. So one, two, three, and four. So I'm just doing four right now. I will need more of these later on, uh, but I'll just do the four for now. And then I have a nut I need to add. Again, I need to update it so it's got my name updated. So I hit create, and I got my nut. And I need to place four of these down. One, two, and four. So that gives us uh, screws and nuts in order to place these in. So hit my green check to accept. And I'm going to start by putting the nuts in the bottom uh, because when I assemble this by hand, it's easier if I put the nut in first and then screw the screw into it. So that's how I'm going to do it when I assemble my device as well. Uh, so to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fasten mate. And I'm just going to get the center of one of the screws. So I want the top center. So if I get to it, I get the top center. And that one's on one of the helical pieces. I don't want that, so I'm going to reset. And I want to make sure I get it on the very top portion of my screw. So I get on my edge, and then I come to the center. If you, you're on the helical portion, it could work, depending on if you got the right portion. But now i got the outside edge, so it's giving me that center. And now I have to flip over to the bottom, and I have to pick one of these four hexagonal holes to go into. So I'm just going to do this one right there. I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. And we want to get the bottom, the base of where this hole is. So to do that, I just click on that base location. And I'm going to turn to a bottom view so you can see when we zoom in that it's oh, right now it's overlapping. So I have to do a little bit of what's called an offset. So I have to rotate it uh, at an angle. And it looks like it's going to be along the Z axis. So if I rotate along the z-axis, I'm just going to start by trying out 20 degrees so we can see where that takes us. And you can see that starts to rotate it, but doesn't take us where we need to go. If I do 30, then it matches up perfectly. So I'm going to hit my green check to accept, and now it matches up smoothly into that hole. I'm going to repeat that process for each of my four nuts. So it is going to take a, little, a few minutes to get it all placed. Uh, but you just want to repeat that same. We're already on fasten. It helps if we zoom in a bit. We want to get that center hole. So from there, I want to make sure I go up until I get the center. And now that I got the center, I want to place that into, and I've already clicked my base. I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to X out of it and reset. So I come here, get the center of that nut, and then take it and find the hole we want to put it into. So flip our view over and I'm going to match up to uh, this one over here because we haven't used it yet. And I want to get in the center of that hole. So if I zoom out, zoom in, we can get that center. And again, I'm just going to look at it straight on so I can make sure it's lined up. So we need offset about the z-axis. And I'm going to try 30 degrees again and see if that doesn't match it up for us. And it does. So we hit our green check to accept. Uh, same thing for the other two holes. Um, I'm going to pause it, put those two in, and then you guys can catch up as we put the screws in. Uh, I'll catch you in a few. So now you can see we've gotten all four placed in the bottom, so all four of the nuts placed. Now we need to insert our screws into the holes above. Uh, so to do this, again, we're just going to do a fasten mate 
Uh, if you want to do this whole screw and accent, you would have to do a cylinder mate and then do a screw releasing. Uh, we're not going to worry about that in this instance. We're just going to fasten mate them into a proper location. Uh, so I'm just going to hit fasten mate. Uh, we want the bottom of the screw head, so I want to make sure I get the bottom of that screw head. Right now you can see it's at the top. I want the bottom, uh, and then I have to fit that into where it fits, which is if we go up above, you can see these are counterboard holes, so I want that location of that counterboard. So I hit in that counterboard, this one pops in upside down, so I have to flip my primary axis and then accept it to place it. Uh, I'm going to repeat that same process for the remaining three screws. Uh, so again, fasten my welding in. Uh, so I hit the bottom of that head, and then I have to find my hole it goes into. Zoom in, and we want that counterbore height. In this case, again, we have to flip our primary and then accept. Repeat the same process on our last two screws. So I'm just going to hold and rotate, get the center. I believe that was in the center and get the center of my hole it goes into. I'll green check to accept and then do the same thing on our last one. Get the center bottom, find our counterboy hole it goes into, get the center of that in at the counterboy height. In this case again I have to flip it over and it fits into place. Uh, so that sets our screws into place with the nuts below attaching them. Uh, next, we'll add in our dowel pins to lock, find, fully lock these into place. So again, I'm going to insert other documents, my own shape, uh, my trammel folder, and I'm going to do my 5mm uh, dowel first, and I need two of these. So I'm going to place that. Hopefully, I can place it outside my object. And then I need two of them, so I'm going to place a second one outside my object. Uh, so I have two of those, and then I need two of the 6 millimeters. so I'm going to place those next to it. So the 6 millimeters are a little bit bigger. Again, it helps if you label so you know which one's which. If you get confused as you're working, they look very similar, just size difference. Here, I'll green check to accept. Uh, then to place them, these are pretty straightforward. It's a fasten mate. We get the edge, center of the edge, and center of the hole it fits into. So the 5 millimeter is going to go into the smaller hole. So I click to place it. You can see this one went upside down. So I just flip primary and put it into place. Same thing with my 6 millimeters. Again, you want to make sure your mate's facing the correct direction. Uh, so right now it's facing the right direction. So then I get my hole and it's facing the correct direction. Flip it over and set it in place. Uh, so then I come over to the far side and I'm going to start with my 6 millimeter. And put it into the bigger hole, which is towards the middle. And again, I need to flip it and accept it. Finally, we do our 5 millimeter. Uh, get that edge. Make sure it's facing the correct direction and the center of my hole. I flip it to put it in place. And I accept. Uh, so now we have most all of them constrained. All we have left is this bottom center hole. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to do an insert. Other documents, my own shape. Uh, trammel on shape and then we'll do our wooden dowel. So in this one I haven't used this one before to sell you uh, so I have to create that version. So I hit create and that creates that version for us. Now we got this wooden dowel we just have to place it on here so I'm just going to place it over here on the side and we're going to insert it same way we did on the top. So this is just on the bottom here a green check to accept. Fasten mate we want to get the edge of this and then the edge of the hole it goes into. It goes in correctly, so we are green check to select, save it, and that helps to place all our blocks into place. So hopefully this helps get you set up for your trammel assembly. Next way, in the next video, we'll add in the slides and the pieces and get it moving. Uh, so thank you and good luck.